we can just start now. Right? One thing I know about the apocalypse. It's not about what you got. It's not about your gold. It's not about the food you hoarded. Tonight is about what you can fit in your front sack and how you're gonna look good. It's called the Orchid Flotilla. It's opening March 22nd and running for three weekends, closing on a Friday, actually, on April 6th. The show, it, it's a devised show, so it's all with physical theater and shadow puppetry. It's based basically on the study of orchids and our imagination and what we think might happen after the apocalypse if somebody were left to their own devices. You did, you did make it. misuse these objects. So I thought, I wonder what would happen if I just asked a bunch of people in East Austin who are designers what what they would like to make. Well, like if they had to design a swimmer outfit for the future based on materials that would survive the apocalypse, what would they make? And it is kind of extraordinary the variety of different things that people came up with. Everything from food to rubber to uh, plastic, lots of different kinds of plastic, bike items from bicycles, it, it just was sort of extraordinary, the variety that people came up with. Well, I took apart um, an Ethernet cable, and I made lace out of it. Mm -hmm. It just took fucking forever. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I had more cables, but they fall out of my hair, but then it's just like wires. And Millie did my little plan. <laughs> She's a, an inter new interpretation of the brony. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Next, clap your hands if you are familiar with Waterworld. 